Hey, I guess we're officially at the time, uh, so I should probably get started. Anyway, hi, uh, I'm Eric Fisher, and uh, here to talk about uh, an attempt to update Tiger to update the uh, imports from Tiger in OpenStreetMap. Um, and since this is the import session, you probably already all know this, but uh, Tiger is the uh, you know U is the uh, U.S. base map from the uh, Census Bureau. Um, and it you know was meant for making this kind of uh, you know m map of population density and that kind of thing, but it's also a major source for uh, all U.S. digital map providers, um, and OpenStreetMap is is no exception to that. Um, and uh, Tiger has a really really long history to it. It's one of the very earliest uh, digital mapping projects, and it actually goes back you know it, it's it's a second generation of the census mapping actually. Um, the, the predecessor to Tiger was called Dime, and uh, you know you can sort of trace the ancestry of a lot of OpenStreetMap nodes back to the back to the 70s. Um, you know this this digital file for this for this street in Omaha is pretty much the direct ancestor of this node in OpenStreetMap, um, even though uh, you know there's a long long gap between them. Uh, the problem was that in the early 70s, the technology for making digital maps was tremendously primitive. Um, you know, these these are illustrations from uh, from one of the the publications about Dime when it was being made, and you basically have people, you know, putting paper maps on a table, um, uh, tracing coordinates of what those maps are on a paper map to a hundred hundredth of an inch, uh, typing those numbers in on punch cards, and then turning it into a magnetic tape. Um, and this is you know where where these uh, tremendously jaggy maps like the ones at the bottom that uh, you know we sort of have this negative association with Tiger that you know this. San Francisco uh, just looks terrible in this. The blocks are supposed to be square, and they are not square. Um, the good news is that Tiger was mostly fixed for the 2010 census. Um, you know, this is old Tiger and new Tiger overlaid on top of each other, and you can see that you know old Tiger looks terrible, and new Tiger looks more or less correct. Um, the bad and uh, the even better news is that that. Uh, Many streets were uh, actually fixed by 2006, which is when uh, the data for OpenStreetMaps import happened. Um, this is that block that I showed the dime file for at the start, where uh, you know it was it was uh, placed in one place in 1975. They moved it a little bit for for the first edition of Tiger in 1990. They moved it a little bit more for the second edition of you know for the major update of Tiger in 2000 and. Uh, you know, by 2006, it was basically correct, and the you know the location where they put it in 2006 is where it still is in Tiger today, and where OpenStreetMap has it. Um, the unfortunate thing is that the uh, OpenStreetMap import sort of caught Tiger halfway through their update cycle. Um, you know, they were updating for the 2010 census, not for OpenStreetMap's import, um, and so a lot of places were still wrong in 2006. Um, this is Westphalia, Indiana, which is just a random town that I happened to pick off the map, uh, showing how everything is kind of just not quite right. All the streets are a little bit off. This is as it stands in OpenStreetMap right now. And uh, I, uh, I could have just fixed it in ID when I was opening it to, to take the screenshot, but I thought it would be better to leave it as an example of what could be fixed by importing. Um, and a lot of places like this, you know, were imported in 2006, and they are still wrong. This is a screenshot from Michael Magursky's uh, Green Means Go, showing what areas of the country are basically untouched in Tiger since since they were imported. And uh, you know, there's a, the, basically you get you know the, actually doing the import into OSM goes um, sort of the you know structural premise from that is that you know most most of these changes from Tiger uh, in 2006. Are just moving nodes from one place to another. Um, in general, like you know, an entire block was moved from the wrong place to the right place, um, and so I think that the the corresponding change in, o, in OSM should just be to move those nodes from where they were to where they to where they ought to be. Um, in some cases, like at the bottom, the uh, the accuracy with the you know there's there's additional nodes involved. Um, this this curve in uh, 2006. Only had three points to it, uh, so it was very jagged looking. Um, uh, current Tiger has a nice smooth curve there, and so we need to add additional nodes that don't exist currently in OSM to uh, to you know fill in the fill in the shape of that curve. Um, there are also some places where current Tiger has fewer nodes than than old Tiger did, and I'm not sure why exactly that happens, but uh, 
um, when I'm and I've I've made precautions that if you know if 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 deleting a node to uh, take care of um, of uh, of a uh, tiger reshaping, I would I would also add a add a check to never delete a node that had something else connected to it, so that there's not any uh, continuity problems introduced as a result. Um, and so here is an example of 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 what it, what the realignment could look like in Westphalia, Indiana, as I showed. Um, you know, this has never been edited in OSM. So basically, we have the the gray line. Can you? Okay, good. The contrast works. The uh, gray lines there for uh, for where you know where Tiger was in 2006. The blue lines for where Tiger thinks that these that these ways should be now. And then yellow lines are additional streets that were not in Tiger in 2006 that really ought to be an open street map because they probably really do exist or at least they should be looked at. Um, Westphalia, you know, being such a small, simple thing that's never been edited is kind of, you know, the most optimistic case. Um, here's another town in Indiana that, that uh, you know, is a little bit more complicated. Here we still have, you know, the, the gray tiger street, the gray old tiger that is wrong, the blue old tiger that's probably right. Um, and then also these green streets that have been edited in OpenStreetMap or otherwise can't be matched up to Tiger anymore. Um, and, you know, th and there's an arrow here pointing to a conflict point where there, you know, there's one street as part of the grid that, uh, you know, because, it, because it's been edited in, o in, in OSM, uh, can't, you know, we can't legitimately move the end of that street without losing somebody's edit. And so the grid gets a little bit, uh, it's not disjointed, but it's sort of misshapen because uh, anything that's trying to connect to that point sort of has to, has to leave that part uh, as it was. Um, and then there are some conflicts that are really terrible. Um, this, is in, this is a place in southern Indiana where there's a street that was, uh, that you know, Old Tiger had mapped um, several hundred feet from where, from where New, Ti New Tiger has it. Um, and then on the uh, you know, bottom left corner, there is another street that was connected to uh, to one of those streets that has a segment in the middle that could not be could not be relocated because it, it uh, doesn't correspond in in OSM to a, a tiger node that uh, that we can make sense of, and this turns out looking really terrible um, because now you get this this line that is very you know a very sharp corner that uh, doesn't correspond to anything in reality. This is actually really a really pathological case because looking at the aerial photos, I'm not convinced that any of these streets are actually real. Um, uh, I mean, the, the, the sort of major street at going across the bottom, I think, actually exists. But I, yeah, I don't think either Old Tiger or New Tiger actually knows what it's talking about here. Um, but it, you know, still, still I, I think, you know, take, take, ti take the Tiger changes in good faith because somebody meant something by it, at least. Um, and I had thought that there was actually going to be a serious problem with this because of missing missing history at OpenStreetMap. Um, there has been a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of you know bot changes and stuff like that that have affected uh, Tiger, aff affected ways that that were imported from Tiger that have systematically removed the Tiger TLID tag from it, which is ultimately what ties a, uh, a an OpenStreetMap way back to the Tiger TLID that it came from, and um, you, you know the the screenshot here is from is from this particular street in Westphalia that uh, has you know was was edited by by bot mode um, and and lost the TLID tag in the course of that. Um, but it also turns out that this t this this way was not tagged correctly in the first place. Um, one of the TLIDs that that composed it was never in the in the OSM history to begin with. I don't know what happened there. This was, uh, you know, a long time ago, and I don't know what was going on. Um, but it actually, this actually turns out not to be an immensely huge problem because, since we know where all the nodes are and we know where all the nodes in each TLID are, um, if you if you have a location, you can find out where it came from in Tiger and therefore where Tiger thinks that it should be now. Uh, the more serious problem actually turns out to be missing history on the Tiger side. Um, Versions of Tiger prior to 2006 had a history file that recorded uh, every time a way was split or joined, um, so that you could, you know, track the, you know, the 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 one with this number used to be, you know, pieces of this other number or, um, you know, that kind of thing. Um, that history file no longer exists in current in current releases of Tiger, um, and so I don't actually have a good approach for dealing with areas like this, which is a part on the west side of Chicago. 
uh, where none of these, where all, all these places that are in yellow are alleys that were not, were not mapped in Tiger in 2006, are not mapped in OpenStreetMap now, um, but because they are mapped now in Tiger, the IDs for all of the streets that they connect to have changed. And so there's no actual historical connection between the old Tiger TLIDs and the new Tiger TLIDs. Um, I don't actually have a, a good way of dealing with this. So I'd, I'd love to hear of any, uh, any similar cases that anybody else has come up with. Um, one thing that I do think that should happen, even if, uh, you know, even if Tiger realignments don't, don't end up happening, is that there are an awful lot of streets like those alleys in the previous slide, but also like this entire subdivision that were not mapped in Tiger in 2006 and are not an open street map as a result. Um, and so it would be really good to, you know, even if they can't be imported automatically, to at least look at all of these and figure out which ones really exist and really should be an open street map. Um, and this is the point where I open it up to questions and say, what do you think? Um, and if anybody is interested in looking at the code that I've been writing to try, the, to try this stuff, uh, the GitHub URL at the bottom is where, the, uh, is where I've been working on this. Um, and I want to thank Mapbox for, uh, for uh, supporting the effort. Yes? That, that was the bug, the, the, the missing ones? So uh, it was decided that you can't actually use them for any matching. So any matching is going to have to be done on geometry. OK. Stuff, so there's no point in having it. OK, yeah, and I, I think that was probably the right thing. Looking at, looking at how, how, how unevenly they are tagged, it probably was the uh, right, right thing not to depend on them. There was a question in the back. Uh, they are they are persistent when things have only been moved. They are not persistent across splits or joins, um, and it's 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 worse than the than the OSM ones where you know you'll have you'll have a way that's split and half of the way gets to keep the old ID and the other half gets a new ID. Um, in Tiger, when there's a split, both of the segments get a new ID, and uh, the current and yeah, with the current version of Tiger, there's no no historical historical record to tell you what the what the ID that those two pieces the old ID that those two pieces now correspond to is oh sorry the the question was um, uh, was about whether whether tiger TLIDs are persistent across versions um, and and the yeah they, they are when the when there's not a split but they're not persistent across splits yes I mean, if 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 it was up to me, I would always keep you know what the what the source of a thing was, and I realize that this is a a, a gigantic problem from the from the database perspective, and that the, the the nodes were overloaded with way more information than anybody actually cared about. Um, but you know, I would like there to you know even if it's not in the database, I think having you know the origin of of a, of something stored somewhere so that you can track it back. You're you're. You're saying no. This is a horrible idea. Um, yes. I'm curious. Does anyone feel it to be contact? Any dialogue? I. Yeah. The the question was about contacts between uh, between OSM and the census and access to their records that aren't online. Um, the only I know that Alex Barth has been talking to people at the census, and I asked him to ask his contact there if they had access to the uh, to the uh, to the split history, and his contact didn't. Um, but that doesn't mean that somebody else doesn't have it. I, I hope somebody has it. Yes. The metric I was using was that if Tiger and OSM agreed by agreed within 25 feet, that 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 was good enough. But uh, I don't think that that's really the right measure because 
ultimately, I mean, the thing that ultimately matters is the sort of the topological constraint where you don't want a road to cross over itself or something like that. Right. And also, do you have a, um, second question, do you have an idea of what's the order of magnitude of the conflict and the added growth, right? Do you have an order idea of how many new added growth there are by the urban army now and how many conflicts? I don't actually, and I, I wish I had those numbers for you, but I, I don't I don't know what the magnitude of the additions or the conflicts is. I've 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 only looked at it on a county by county basis rather than trying to do it comprehensively for the whole country. Yes. I, I am I am completely ignoring road names. I'm only concerned about alignment, and maybe there's other tiger changes that ought to be imported too. But for, for my, I mean, the reason that I'm interested in this is because I'm interested in correlating other, other geotagged things like tweets and photos with streets. And so having accurately aligned streets is what I'm, is what I'm personally interested in. But yeah, there are probably many other characteristics in Tiger that uh, have also been changed and ought to be matched. Does, does that? Yeah, and that's a, that actually would be a really good way to do it. That if you know if if you have a, a street that you know was this range of house numbers on the on a street with this name, that it you know it probably and you know a, a new street appeared with the same range of house numbers on on the same same name street that it probably is that same block. That's actually a real uh, something that I should have looked at, um, and seems like a really good way to do it. Thank you. Was that was that what you were yeah. okay? Yeah, that's that's a really good idea. Thank you. Yes. I I actually haven't I I'm, oh sorry, the question was about whether people are are tracing are placing building outlines relative to where the streets are claimed to be rather than to where the aerial photo says. Um I actually haven't seen that when I've been looking at it. I've seen lots of buildings that were kind of placed over the street, rather than uh, rather than placed where the, the street claims to be. Um, so yeah, I think I think that when people are importing, I, I think, I mean, this is this is clearly imported building outlines rather than traced building outlines, and I yeah, I don't think people have been looking very carefully to see whether their buildings touch the street. Yes. The, the, yeah, the question was about using map roulette to, uh, to get people to do this rather than doing it automatically. And uh, yeah, I have thought about it, and I know that Ian Dees is, is planning, it has been talking about actually doing it. Um, oh, maybe I'm, okay. I, I must be thinking of something different then. Okay. He was talking about something about, uh, about you know, highlighting people, highlighting places that people could, could remap based on Tiger. Um, so I, I must have misunderstood. Um, I mean, okay, okay, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, for the for the reasons that I, that I said earlier, I think that it's better to use the tiger geometry rather than to have things be retraced, if possible. Um, but yeah, if 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 re, if if reimporting is not possible, then I then I agree that highlighting the places that need work and you know urging people to do those places instead of Tweaking other places that are that are, you know, much more accurate by comparison is is the is the right way to improve the map. Anyone else? Yes. The 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 yeah the. Audience member was saying that he would like the uh, TLIDs to be back in the database. I, I would like them there, but clearly there's uh, politics that I don't know about that uh, well, we preclude that. Okay. 
Well, and okay. yeah. I, anyway, I, I don't want to. I don't want to step on anybody to anybody's toes. My interest in this is correctness of the geometry, and I would love to have as much metadata in there as possible as well. Um, but I don't want to uh, cause a rift either. Can, can you can you say what the objection is? But it would be, it would be better to know why it would be better to know why you object than to have it be a mystery. Oh, that's an interesting twist. Um, and, and that, because that because then the, they think it's authoritative they, because it's, authoritative it's got an ID. And they, and they also feel like they don't have the qualifications for the person. Okay. Um, and that is, for me, the biggest argument against it, right, is that if, if, if human beings aren't touching it, then, um, then, then we've, we've got a major problem. With um, okay. And then the, the third argument is, um, or in addition to the tag, um, then people start to get into these meta tags where they start to treat OSM as a collective database as opposed to a single unified data set. And so by, by, by sort of specifically saying, you are going to put all of your data in here and you're, not, you're going to ignore where its origin is from, um, it forces consumers of the database to be conscious that this is the data set. It is not a collection of external data sets. For people that need Tiger, they should be and are encouraged Thank you. I appreciate it. There, there is also one additional issue is that say someone has a road, uh, it surveys a road, it will put it into OSM. It won't have a CLID. Mm -hmm. So in your logic involving roads, you uh, have to handle the fact that some roads that don't have a CLID because they didn't come from Tiger. And as soon as, soon as some mm -hmm. do, right, if you're assuming that some of them do and some of them don't have, well, then you might as well say they all don't. I don't agree but uh, but I but I see your point. Thank you.